Hi, and welcome to this lesson on representing electrochemical cells. In our previous lesson, we learned a lot. So we learned about the standard hydrogen electrode and how it's used as a reference to measure other electropotentials, which if measured under standard conditions are referred to as standard electropotentials. And we also explored what happens when we've got non-standard conditions and the equation that we can use. And we learned about reducing and oxidizing agents as well. So our key learning objectives for this lesson are to look at electrochemical cell diagrams and also the notation for those. Check your specification carefully because, for example, on the OCR specification, they do not use the cell notation that I'm going to explain in future slides. So be really careful. So here's our electrochemical cell and we can see that the electrodes are connected with a wire and there's our voltmeter to allow the potential difference to be measured. But we can also represent cells in a shorthand form. And this is the form that only some specifications will allow or will ask you about. So we've got our solid, a single line here, AL3+, plus, and we've got our state symbols. We've got our double line to represent that salt bridge, Cu2+, plus, Cu solid. And then our standard electropotential for that particular case is going to be plus 2.00 volts. So in the example that I've just written, this double vertical line represents our salt bridge and our vertical solid lines equal phase boundaries. And the species with the highest oxidation state in the redox couple is written closest to the salt bridge. And we always show the half cell with the more negative standard electropotential on the right hand side. Here we've got the order of the written version of an electrochemical cell. So we've got the reduced species, then the oxidized species, oxidized species, reduced species. So rule, easily remembered. Here's a practice question. So give it a go yourself or wait for me to go through a worked example. So in this case, we can see that the manganate half cell has got a more positive electropotential and therefore that's where the reduction reaction is going to occur. So I'm going to put a red arrow over because I know that we're going to be going in that direction with reduction. And we're going to show this on the right hand side. The iron ions, the two plus iron ions, are going to, are going to be oxidised therefore. So I'm going to put this as a backwards arrow to give me that clue. And so we're going to put this on the left hand side. There are no solids in either of the half cells, so we're going to have platinum electrodes needed. And so we can show this in our written equation. So we're going to have our platinum there. We're going to have a phase, so a line showing a phase change. We're going to have our two plus and then we're going to have our species that is oxidised. Our salt bridge with our double line. Our manganate. Again, the oxidized species of that redox couple, manganese, and then if I can squeeze this on the end, it's going to be platinum here as well. And that is our one mark. Remember to place the species with the highest oxidation state closest to that double line, that kind of salt bridge double line in the centre. 